Hey everyone, the Groundwater Guy here. I caught up with Kevin McGinnis of Cody Chemical Corporation at the 2019 South Atlantic Jubilee Water Show. In part one of our discussion, Kevin gives us the rundown on using chlorine for chemical disinfection of wells and some of the considerations you need to take into account to make the most effective use of the chlorine, particularly with respect to controlling the pH. Hey everyone, the Groundwater Guy here. I'm here at the 2019 South Atlantic Jubilee in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Hey everyone, we're here today with Kevin McGinnis from Cody Chemical Corporation. And Tim, Kevin is going to talk to us about uh, uh, the chlorine and, and buffering chl uh, chlor uh, the pH to make chlorine more effective. And then we're going to talk a little bit about well maintenance. So Kevin, go ahead and take it away. Okay, so basically we're talk when we talk about chlorinating a water well, most of you guys, most of us for years have been using either granular chlorine, also known as calcium hypochlorite, also known as HTH, or liquid chlorine, which is basically sodium hypochlorite, also known as bleach. Bleach usually is a 5% solution. We can get it as high as 10 to 12% solution. The higher the solution, the less stable it is, so you want to buy it and use it as soon as possible. Calcium hypochlorite has a little bit longer shelf life, roughly about a year. You don't want to buy it too much far ahead of time. You want to store it in dry places. You guys probably know most of the routine about how to handle and store those types of products. There's really four basic reasons why we have we don't accomplish our goal when we're trying to chlorinate a well using these two basic products. The first one is temperature. The second one is turbidity. The third is placement. And then the fourth one is pH. So I'm going to talk briefly about each one of them, maybe even focus a little bit more about the pH side. Temperature, we can't do a whole lot about. We're dealing with groundwater. We just have to deal with whatever we have or deal we have to deal with. Turbidity, you guys know what turbidity is. If we can, that interferes with the chlorine's ability to disinfect. So if we can pump that well clean, just pump it for a few hours or a few minutes to get it clean, then we just get a better kill down in the well, we get a better reaction with our chemistry. The third issue is placement. I would much rather than pouring your granular chemical or your liquid chemical right into the wellhead, I'd much rather mix up a tank of water, clean chlorinated water above ground, and, and flood the well with three to four times the water in the volume of water in the well. So if you've got 100 gallons of water in your column, mix up a batch of three to 400 gallons of water with your chlorinated solution above ground and then flood the well so we get good placement. Obviously agitation, anything you could do to agitate it to get that chemistry where it can actually disinfect it and, and, and get into the cracks and crevices where we need it to be. Probably the most misunderstood is the last issue and that is pH. If you've been around a swimming pool very much you know that you always check your pH first. Sometimes you put a little bit of swimming pool acid in the well into the swimming pool and a lot of people don't know why unless you own a swimming pool yourself. But basically, whether you're using the liquid chlorine bleach or the granular calcium hypochlorite, both of those products have high pH, okay? pH meaning basically potential of hydrogen. It's a measurement of how acidic or basic your solution is. What we want to do to have the most killing reaction or the best reaction to kill bugs is to get our pH between about 5 and 7 with our chlorinated solution and our, and our water mixture. So in our above ground tank, that I just talked about, get yourself some clean water, adjust the pH down to about four or five, and then put 100 to 200 parts per million chlorine into your tank. You may have to do some experimenting because you don't, I don't know what your beginning water is, but if you're starting with some water, you check your pH, there are some off the shelf products called chlorine enhancer type products. Johnson's got one called New Well 220. Uh, Jet Loop has one. Um, Chloropal, I believe it's called. We have one called Chlorine Enhancer. These types of products are buffered acids that are designed to go into your water chemistry, adjust the pH down just a little bit. Some of them have polymers, some of them have surfactants, and some other chemistries that basically make the chlorine work better at killing bugs. So you. In your chlorinated solution, again, you, you use some type of chlorinated or, or chlorine enhancer and adjust the pH down to around four or five. 
our, our final solution before we put it into the well, we want to be around between six and seven pH. If we get our solution in that, in that tank, if we get the solution uh, the, uh, pH too low, then we become, we start producing dangerous gases when we mix our chlorine with it. So we don't want to get too low. If we get our pH too high, by putting, when the more chlorine we put in, the higher the pH goes, it's becoming less and less biocidal and more and more oxidative, which means it's going to start rusting things in the well or in our shop or wherever we're mixing it. So you, in, our, in your mixing tank, you want to get your, start off with getting your pH down, add your chlorinated, your chlorine solution, granular or calcium, mix it all up really well. Sometimes you have to tweak it a little bit, put a little bit more chlorine enhancer in there to get their pH just balanced to around seven. Between six and seven is the safest. And then flood the well with three to four times the volume of water in the well. That increases your chances. In some of the literature, it actually says 70 to 100 times more biocidal when you use these types of pH adjustment to make your chlorine balance, the basically buffered chemistries to chlorinate your, uh, make your chlorine solution more efficient at killing bugs.